Hello, this is Clarice Mertz, the Brazilian one. And today we are doing a collage in a bowls. Um, this kind of collage, and this is the way it is in, outside and inside. So you will use pictures of magazines and you can choose any, any kind of pictures you like, uh, flowers or anything you like it. I like flowers, so I choose flowers. Magazine uh, pictures, the color that you want to do. The inside of your, your bow, in this case I use yellow, and black and white in the outside. So what do you do? We will cut little pieces of the color you choose and you, we will be gluing. I did this video a few months ago, but I lost the beginning. So I'm here doing the beginning again. And I did this same technique in a video a splash of color. I will leave the link here for you if you want to see with more details, okay? So let's do it. So I already look at all my pictures here and I am very fond of this one that I show you in the beginning. And look when I cut it, how it would look here. And first of all, I will show you how I cut this picture. Because the way you cut your picture will tell if it is, is a beautiful collage or so-so collage or ugly collage. <laughs> so let me show you little tricks that I know, okay? First of all, so I have this beautiful picture here. And the first thing I do, I cut the parts of the picture that does not belong to the flower. Pieces that is in the middle of the picture. I cut it first because it's the easiest way to work around the picture. Uh, I use this kind of knife that make our job here much easier. So I come here and I cut. And I take the piece out. Here is cut. So is out of the picture, the, the green part. And I will do with all the little pieces. When it is too small that you cannot cut, you can paint it the same color of your picture. In this case, I can paint a little uh, pink here. What I do, I get a pink pencil and I try to see if the color can match. And this one is okay, so I can use this one. around you just got a little scissor and cut the best you can okay and sometimes we cut the paper and a little white show like this and here you can paint it too so you just get the, your pen your pen and and paint it a little bit here look here doesn't have any white anymore over here so it's a very detailed work for it to be beautiful. To choose your figure, your, your picture, you play with your bow and your picture to see how it looks. So I choose this one and I will glue it this way, okay? And this one has a lot of parts that was uh, orange and I paint because I could not cut. Okay, so now let's glue it. 
So first thing I will do, I will clean my bowl with the alcohol just to make sure it doesn't have any grease from my hands. I will let it dry. So I will put the glue on my picture. In every single place. The glue that I am using is the white glue and I bought my at Dollar Tree. Now, very careful, you take the picture out. And let's glue it in our bowl. If your picture doesn't go like uh, straight, you can cut it a little bit and overlap a little bit because if not, you have bubbles and your paper will be uh, not straight. So in some places I need to cut a little bit. And if you have a little accident like I did here, I broke the paper, you can glue it back. And now I will put glue on top of it. If you feel that you have a little bubble of air, you just press until the bubble is gone. So check this side to see if it is perfect. And my is looking like it is. So now I will let it dry. Then when it is dry, I will choose the color that I will do this part. Well, it is dry and now I will choose which color I will want it to be over here in the rest of my bowl. The way you do it is putting the color that you are thinking about close to it. It was an orange in the original picture. So orange is a color that will be really beautiful, but I'm not too much in orange and I want to do it a pink. And I want to do this kind of collage that I did many years ago. I did it with uh, pieces of magazine magazine page this is a little piece of paper something like this i glue it together and i want to do exactly like this i, I want to do something like dark over here and start to be uh lighter so here will be lighter and darker what i will do now i will look for pictures in a magazine that is pink so all colors of pink and the way we do this you need to choose things that have a lot of texture not like just plain uh, pink like this one here have some flowers uh, this one is a great example that a very good uh, piece of paper to do these uh, little pieces here so this is what I will do and I cut with this kind of scissor, but doesn't matter what kind of scissor you cut it. And I will find, I will uh, collect a lot of paper, like here I already have a lot of papers, pink papers. And I will divide in dark, neater, and light color. Okay? And, whoa. and then I start to go. This is a very long process but it's a very fun and the end is really beautiful. So now I will cut my pictures.
So here I have one little piece and I will cut until I think I have enough. So be careful when you have other colors in the middle of your picture. You need to take it out. You want to just pink. And I will start where you have the little holes here, gluing something on top of it. And I will put glue on top of the paper that I just glue. And I will come with another paper. Always overlapping. Putting more glue where I want to go. And we are gluing the, the paper opposite uh, side. The pink will be uh, the pink will be this way, okay? Not here. Here we will not show the pink. The, the pink will be inside. So I'm going around the, the, the picture, the green picture now that I have in my bowl because I want the, the light color around it. Look how the way it is uh, start to be. So this is the way it is. And now I will start with a little bit uh, darker color. Always look at it against the, the light to see if you didn't miss any place because this needs to be all covered. You cannot miss any spot to be very beautiful. And here I need to put uh, more uh, light paper. And over here, I need a little bit more light uh, paper. So this is the way it is going. And now I can work looking this way, like here, so it's much easier when you can just uh, do this way because then you really can control what you're doing here. So it's much easier when you can work from here. So I will continue to do it and I come back. So I'm almost finishing here. Look how it is turning out. And I have a little bit to go here and I come back to show you how I do the, the end here. I choose a darker color and what I do, I cut my paper like this. And then when I glue here, it is already done the finish here. You can do, you don't need to cut this way. You can leave the papers, extra paper here, but then after you finish, you need to cut the paper. So I think it's much easier to cut this way and glue and, and glue this way, of course, <laughs> and have already the finished uh, product here. So this is what I'm doing now. I am about to finish and I will glue my little parts here. We learn a lot about colors doing collage. This process, when you have all your papers uh, cut and everything, is really quick. It's not, it's not something you take too long to glue these little papers here. It's fun to do. And I will finish, and then I come back to show you how we will do to fix all this messy here. So I finish here. My whole bowl is covered. And now let's do outside. Outside, I choose a green color and I will do the opposite I did inside of my bowl. 
I will start with a light color and I go to dark. So I will start here. And I will do the same thing. I will start with papers like this. And I will glue here. I mean, I'm trying to go from uh, lighter to dark. And green is a very easy color to find in magazines because because it's a lot of, you know, food and uh, vegetables, uh, trees. So it's a very easy color to work with. And like here, I, I glue and a little bit of the white is showing. You can just come with another piece and put in top of it. And I go around and I will do the same thing. When you work this way, it's much easier to control because you are really seeing what we are doing here. Collage is an art that you don't spend almost anything with it. Actually, it was the poor artist that invented the collage because they didn't have money to buy all the the medium that, that they need to create, so they develop a collage. And it's really fun to do. Very relaxing, and we can learn a lot about colors. You can go with your fingers like this here in the, the beginning to give a little uh, finish. So I will be doing this, gluing my little green papers, and I come back to show you. I finished with my collage. So this is the way it is inside, and it is the way it turned out outside. Look how beautiful it is. When you finish and you feel that has a, a color that uh, is not exactly the way you wish it to be, you just got a, a piece of paper and glue, you know, on top of it. So you can fix very easily. Another thing that sometimes happen is that we have a glue in our hands and you touch the bow and then you hurt the paper. Then you can again just glue a little piece of paper on top of it. So it's a very forgiving project and I think it turned out very beautiful. So now I will start to coat this side of my bowl. I will put coats of glue until it is really shiny. So let's do it. So I will just put glue on top of it, all over it. And then I will let it dry for 24 hours and I will come back and I will do another coat. Let it dry for 24 hours, come back and give another coat. And this I will do until I am happy the way it looks. You will not be able to put this piece on the water. You can put water inside of the bowl, but not outside. So it's kind of a decoration piece. And here I have a little piece of red, uh, red here, I don't know how, and I will just glue this on top. Put glue on top and it's fixed. Now I will let it dry for 24 hours. I will give another coat and this I will do until I am very happy with the shines that I will get. 
So I have here my final project and it is the way it turned out outside. I gave about five uh, coats of uh, glue, the white glue, and I think this is turning out so beautiful, it's so shiny. The most glue you put on, the shiner it will be. And always let it uh, dry when you put another, another coat. So I hope you like this project and if you did, give me a thumbs up, so subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye.